Bienvenidos, guys. This is Josh. Just so you guys know, bienvenidos means welcome in English. So I'm teaching you guys some Spanish as we speak. But let's get to it. Like you guys know, I'm back again with another video. Today I'm talking about duos. But in real particular, I got carried by a Watson. This Watson was the most aggressive Watson I've ever encountered. Which reminds me of myself because I'm pretty good with Watson too. But you're going to see in this video, this Watson pretty much carries me. Uh, I do my job in terms of maintaining, holding my own. But this Watson, we did damage. We uh, conquered, we accomplished, we worked really well. Uh, again, this is a random, uh, but this duos was a pretty sick duo. I'm talking about that Shaq and Kobe, Scotty Pippen, and MJ level, okay? I'm MJ, that person could be Scotty Pippen, but you guys get the logist. If you guys are an existing viewer of my content or a new person just checking out my channel, consider subscribing. I create a lot of content around Apex, try to give you guys a lot of value. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the support. And now, let's get to that video and let's get it. Hey guys, so in this gameplay, I'm going to show you guys the tips and tricks on how to win with duos. I'm using a Bloodhound teaming up with a Watson. Uh, particularly, this Watson is very aggressive. We have some great encounters. But I'm going to go over the gameplay, give you guys some tips, and also show you guys some visuals with my drawings, as you guys can see here, which I'll actually do something really cool right now. I'm going to change his shoes, do that. I'm also going to give him maybe a cape, so he's like Batman. And then Watson here is going to have a bigger jetpack like that. Sorry. Okay, enough. All right, so let's get to this video. I'm going to go over the gameplay. You guys know the logist. Let's get it. All right. So we're getting into the video. We're obviously landing. This is kind of one of my first games that I've played with duos. Um, I really like this gameplay because this Watson is a really, really good player. And as I did my Revenant video, I'm going to speed it up, cut to the chase, and kind of just show you guys uh, kind of the encounters. I don't want to like waste time in between of us looting and there being no action. So obviously when you're landing, you want to find everything, find your loot. Uh, the good thing about this combination is that the Bloodhound is a UAV, which I've mentioned in my Tips and Tricks video. He's a great player to be very aggressive, and your Watson is a defensive player. Uh, people think of her as a passive, but you can use her aggressive, which you guys will notice with this player. He, he or she pushes uh, with this Watson a lot, and I'm very impressed. As you'll see right now, we're pushing uh, our first opponent. So obviously, Watson does a good job. I just do the dirty work, clean it up. And actually, let me go back real quick. So just to go over something real fast. Um, so for people that are not aware of Bloodhound, the one thing you guys are going to notice is he's always going to have these markers. It's part of his passive, just FYI. These markers will be able to identify player movement. So if there's, you know, footprints or there is a, a loot box that's dead or even someone that's bleeding out, it'll point it out for you, uh, which is really impressive with this character. Um, when you start encountering situations where this becomes very useful. Right now it's not, but it would be useful if, let's say, you came in this room and you didn't see the opponent. You're going to see footprints marked um, and kind of identify the movement of the character that probably went up here. So let me clear this out and get back to the video. All right, so obviously we're moving. And my Watson is obviously looting, and I'm trying to find the best loot. Let me speed it up. And cut to the chase. All right, so we're actually moving around, trying to find this enemy. We're obviously looking around, pushing aggressively. I'm doing that as well. Okay, so here we encounter a situation. So in this gameplay here, what you guys are going to notice is that my teammate is doing a good job in terms of going in here and pushing. You're going to see an opponent up here deciding whether... He takes me out or he goes back into the room. What he could have done is actually taken the zip line, escaped, made it harder for uh, both of us to capture him. But he gets scared because you're going to see right now what I do. I push him to go back in. My teammate goes from the back, flanks him, defeated, end game. So let me clear this out and show you guys what I mean. So there, I identified him. As you guys can see, 
Um, it says hostile detected. Again, for those new Bloodhound players, it will highlight the character in between walls. So he basically sees through. So picture him as a UAV. If you guys have played Call of Duty, you guys will know what I mean. This character can see through walls and your teammate as well that's inside the building and here you know they're going up the stairway you know they're up here you know i'm trying to become rambo well they just saw the character too so just know using the scan ability works for you and your teammates so always use it when appropriately or also when you're going into buildings just so you guys can identify if there's any campers inside all right so let me move back go in here I'm pushing in, I'm pushing the team uh, to go back into the building and you'll see that I deal damage while my teammate goes from the back, flanks him. Again, dealing damage. My teammate does the job, as you guys can see. Assist, there we go. Doing that duo combination like I mentioned, that Kobe and Shaq, MJ and Scotty. And now let me get back to it. All right, so we've taken that enemy down now we're just pretty much open field uh, for the first couple of minutes in this gameplay. So let me cut to the fat and um, get to the point. So obviously, you know, we're looting. Let me keep speeding it up. You know, obviously, you know, you guys find what you guys need to. You know, my combination with the weapons is a flat line in the R301. R301 is still my favorite weapon, even for beginners. If you guys can pick that weapon up practice 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 and you guys will get really good with it flatline i feel like has a little higher learning curve against the 301 but once you can pretty much master the r301 in terms of its recoil and shooting you'll pretty much be set on the other weapons so let me keep speeding it up let me keep speeding it up there's nothing in interesting here we're scanning the rooms um the one thing i'm going to tell you guys which i didn't show it right now but let me see if he does it is when you're in like let's say the scenario and um, let me actually do it at the right time okay cool so the one cool thing about bloodhound is you know if you're not aware of enemies being in these buildings obviously once it's tactical re-ups which I only have one second left which will show up use the scan uh, because particularly in this area we haven't um, seen who's in this building who's maybe in this building. So if you do a scan, you'll identify it. So it's not a waste. It's actually helpful for you to identify if there's an enemy in that building, this one, or the one that's right near me. Uh, so always use it sparingly, but also use it when you're approaching a new area just to kind of scout uh, player positioning. All right, so let me keep moving. All right, I'll keep speeding it up. All right, so my teammate, again, he, he or she is being very aggressive in terms of the gameplay and pushing forward and finding the opponents. I get my ultimate ready. The ultimate is a great usage because you'll be able to identify players from distance. As you guys can see here, there goes one enemy. Now, there's like this ghost, like gas effect. I don't know if it's farting or something, but it's a cool halo effect to kind of show the movement of the character while you get to identify it right there. While I'm in this beast of the hunt mode, Keep in mind the time. If I do knock down these characters, it will add five more seconds onto my timer, which is pretty awesome. And I will find three players. One will be here, and then the other one's gonna be approaching from this backside, moving forward, uh, as you guys will see right now. So let me clear this out. So again, you're really jacked with this ultimate with Bloodhound. You can strafe, you can move fast, you're very aggressive. The enemies are in red, which is easy to call out and find. And then again, you see a player approaching. And here, just to show you guys FYI, it's, this is pretty awesome. When you're in the Beast of the Hunt, you can find the player movement, the footprint, kind of walking, but also the tickers that are showing here. And then this one is showing like, there was another player that went up this way, uh, but then there's one right here. Um, this is the one that I'm focused on and taking out. Again, keep your focus using the flat line, knocked. So you pretty much have a lot of good loot to exchange, pretty much call out and get ready for the next situation. Let me speed it up because I doubt there's anything here. All 
All right, so we keep moving forward. We're continuing to push. And uh, keep in mind, I actually die a couple of times approaching this um, this time. And, and uh, I think I die about three times, which this Watson, man, they're a boss in terms of just taking down these teams on their own while I'm just knocked. So again, we obviously see a team here, as you guys can see on my screen. They're pretty much spreading out. I know there's another one over here. Um, so they're pretty much spread out. And when I get knocked, this Watson here becomes Superman in a couple of seconds. All right, so let me clear that out and get to the gameplay. So obviously we see a team there, one team behind the building. I get knocked. Now we're gonna see Watson do work. Now with this Watson, they're not even using the fences. They're just using their pure ability of shooting and just player movement. They're really good. And now there's another team behind uh, this tree, but by the mountain area, there was one over here and I know there was one that landed this side. So just keep that in mind. So again, my, my teammate is scouting, trying to find if there's anything around that might hurt them. They're obviously shielding up, as you guys can see on the marker. I'm gonna go get some cover. I'm trying to hide behind a building so I don't show myself like a sore thumb. And always try to like graze something or try to hide somewhere so the enemies can't find you guys. So just make sure you guys hide. And here we go again. Watson being Rambo. And now in this situation, they are Rambo because they're able to take down these teams on their own. So again, there's more action. They were approaching traffic all over. You're seeing the hit markers, the characters moving. I'm trying to play aggressive. I think I do a little too much. Well, not think. I do a little too much. I kind of try to bite more than I can chew. And again, I get knocked. So I did knock down that character. But now it's Watson again trying to save the day. Again, here goes another character, Revenant. Watson doing work, another Bloodhound. That just scares me when that happens, when the uh, scan shows up. Again, Watson is just covering all bases. And again, picking me up as I fell, and I'll fall again pretty soon right now. So again, there goes Bloodhound. I think they're on Beast of the Hunt right now. Identify those players so my teammate can find them. Again, get knocked. Here we go again. Getting saved by Watson. Watson's obviously taking care of business back there. Bloodhound stands no chance. Again, this Watson is Superman. Hands down. If you guys know this person, just honestly, just friend them, play with them. They're a really good player. All right, cool. So I'm up. I'm back in action, get that shield, get the red one. Obviously I was playing with players that had better shields than I did. So maybe that's why I lost. But even then, I was like, just not playing right at those moments. So now let me keep moving forward because I think there's nothing here interesting. So we're pushing, obviously the ring's closing. I will say that the red shield is pretty awesome. Um, in terms of the gold and red, I really like the red shield, but I do like the gold because of its perk. Um, but if you're able to pick up a red one, definitely try it out. It's awesome to uh, have a red shield. I never had one before uh, until this gameplay. So uh, definitely, if you guys haven't done so, pick it up. So let me keep moving forward. Again, nothing interesting here. I got to keep speeding it up. We're just obviously finding the last loot before we get to the end game. End game being the last part of the match because obviously there's only four squads left. And they're gonna die pretty soon. And it's only gonna be like, I think three squads and then two. All right, so let me keep speeding it up. We're going to the next section. So here, what we did here is that we actually waited. The interesting thing here is that we could have um, gone into the rooms that are in this part of the ring, but both of our instincts are to kind of hold the positioning sometimes. You kind of get a good feeling with the other player, what, what, what you guys are trying to achieve, uh, whether you guys want to hold a spot. But we're inside of the ring, which is fine. So we were okay if this continued to close. I just wanted to make sure we were able to wait our positioning because I did notice that there were some enemies 
um, in this section here of the map. So we were kind of playing by instincts, but also hearing some player movement by these uh, mountain area. So let me continue to play the video and show you guys what I mean. Again, Watson is doing everything. We're just waiting, playing it smart. Watson is smart, they get behind me. So if I die, then they obviously get protected by me. And what I'm gonna do right now is use my scan. So let me forward it up a little bit. So let me do that right now. I do the scan. Hostile detected. So there's one down here, as you guys can see. So the character is pretty much right here on my map. Um, so now we know there's someone nearby. Obviously there's four squads left, but we do know there's a team nearby. Let me speed it up. Let me go back real quick. Let me go back. So now we identify the enemies that are nearby. We knock down that octane. There's a caustic. They throw the gas. I scan. Again. Now we found the three the three man team. So obviously there's one here. There's one here. And then the knocked octane. So now we know we've got pretty much uh uh, well, actually, it's not actually a three on three. Let me take that back. Um, this is one team. This is this, this is another team right here. Sorry, because I was thinking about trios, but um, yeah. So this is one team for sure, and then there's another team back here that's pushing. So let me clear that up. Sorry for that mistake. Again, we're trying to push. Now we see the caustic back there. Now the cool thing about Bloodhound and his ability is that his tactical pretty much revamps back in like 15 seconds or so. So you're able to get it back to help your teammate find where that Caustic is at. And I have my ultimate, which will help me speed up my process and get jacked up. So I do the scan. I know he's there. Now he got scared. So you saw how, let me go back. You see how he's moving? He was pretty scared because he thought he could hold the position. So let me go there. Let me do it. Sorry, I have to do it again. See, he's positioning. Then he's moving like, oh crap. It, you know, it scared him. So now we're obviously approaching and double team. That is the Wraith, actually. The Caustic was taken down by my teammate. So now there's only one more squad. And this one is a Pathfinder. That's just pretty much like doing like, he's like in a jungle, like, you know, Tarzan in it all over these buildings. Again, shielding up. Don't be too aggressive. Uh, you want to have the upper advantage with a two on one situation than making it a one on one. So obviously I scanned. He's obviously kind of deterred on where to go. Again, just keep moving, keep trying to find his positioning, get the higher ground. We see him down there. He has some damage. Done. Damage. Dealt. We win that game. Obviously with Watson, thank you so much for that player. They're a really good player in terms of being aggressive and holding the fort down, picking me up three times. Otherwise, we would have lost this matchup. But obviously we played really well together. And obviously it's, it's all based on instincts and player positioning, um, kind of just knowing how to play the game. And just again, this is a random with no mics. Uh, this is like a late night game. And you guys can see the difference right there. They almost got 2,000, nine kills. I had five kills with 700. Um, and they had the three revives. So all around player MVP goes to my teammate. But again, I was able to hold my own in terms of trying to get those kills, deal some damage, and maintain um, good progress with them. So, you know, duos, it's very difficult. I will say initially, uh, it's one of the harder game modes to play, especially when you're teaming up with randoms. But if you guys are able to team up with a friend, someone who's good, you'll be really well off. Otherwise, you will get frustrated here and there where trios, I find it a lot easier to win and, and play through. Because uh, duos is just you get knocked, you got to make sure you hold the fort. Otherwise, if you get knocked, then it's game over. Um, but yeah, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. 
you know, kind of give you guys some tips and showed you guys how I got carried. And if you guys like the video, comment below, like the video, and let me know what you guys think. And like I always do, uh, you know, I'll continue to create more and more videos around Apex. And as always, rinse, repeat, game. Let's get it. Until the next one, later guys.